Remember how we started? Triangle. What kind of triangle? An equilateral with an equilateral triangle. We're going to make an equilateral triangle. A, B, C, sides equal one. Next thing I'm going to do is draw an altitude. From B to the opposite side. In an equilateral triangle, that altitude bisects the opposite side. Okay? So that makes two smaller triangles. Short leg, one half. And it's got the altitude, hypotenuse one, right? Right triangles. What does it do to the angles up there at B? Cuts it in half. Bisects that angle. And what was it before? 60. It was 60, now it's 30. And so mm -hmm. what it's given me is two, 30, 60, 90 triangles. Okay? If I call that point D at the bottom of that triangle, and I'm going to pull one of those triangles out. Mm -hmm. How long is BC? How long is BC? One. How long is CD? One half. How long is BD? One. Ooh, be careful. What do you got to do here? You have to get, uh, yeah. Yeah, because if we let this be X, then what can I write? One half squared plus X squared is one half. One half squared plus X squared equals one squared, which is just one, right? What's one half square? One fourth. Mm -hmm. I subtract one fourth from both sides. What's one minus one fourth? Three fourths. And when I take the square root of both sides, what do I get? Square root of three over two. Square root of three over two. That means this is the square root of three over two. And all of that is thank you to Pythagoras, right? We're still doing the five minute thing. How much time you got? Three, three, four. You're in good shape. Okay? Because now, definition of sine, cosine, tangent, all that stuff you learned way back in geometry, Sokotoa, the old hippie thing, whatever you learned about, right? Look at that triangle and tell me what is the sine of 30 degrees? One and a How do you find a sine? Opposite over adjacent. Over what? <laughs> one half over one, which is just one half. What's the cosine of thirty degrees? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Which is square root of three over which is square root three over two over one, which is square root three over two. Square three over two. What's the sine of sixty degrees? Square root three over two. That's the square root three over two over one, which is the square root three over two. And what's the cosine of sixty degrees? One half. That's one half over one, which is just one half. And you are finished. You have shown that. Oh, I like that. Okay, and that's by the definition of sine and cosine. You've got to put it down. 
five minutes. Alright, you stop. I'm gonna wait for you to finish writing. Okay.